Okay, here's my low voltage panel. This is the wire I think that is a problem. Uh, this is the 24 volt wire uh, connection that goes to the outside AC. If I turn this on, then I just hear the transformer. So then when I disconnect this, that connected there so now it's not connected anywhere on the other side I have this completely disconnected at the AC unit so I, that's why I think it's this wire I'm going to replace and it turns on lower turns on so now I'm going to go outside and do a test again here I am now at the unit outside and I don't have anything connected um, here or at the other end of this which is connected to there that's why I think this wire is bad and something is shorting out along the way as it goes inside I'm going to activate this and see something here okay so power is on this that's just bypassing the bypass. so I think if I replace that wire connect this stuff back up Everything should work. Okay. Okay, I have the new wire connected and through, so everything's connected up here, back up in here. So hopefully that'll start. So I'm going to go back inside, make sure that's connected, and we'll do another test. Okay, I've got the new one wired up here, the old wire's out. New wire is hooked up, we're hooked up outside, and now we're going to try turning it on. And we are good. So, the furnace blower motor is going, now let's check it outside. And I come out here, and everything seems to be working just fine. So, all in all it cost me I did replace the transformer for 20 bucks, but also this wire right here, which is to the 24 volt, um, needed to be replaced. It was shorting out somewhere on it, but uh, now it's working. That spool was a 50 foot for 10 bucks, so $30 total. Very good.